All is fair in love and marriage Discussing everything from A to Z Cause that's the way it's supposed to be, yeah All is fair in love and marriage We may agree to disagree But in the end we know it's you and me, yeah What's good, everybody? What's going on? It is us. The Newsome. And this is... The All is Fair in Love and Marriage podcast. Episode 18. 1-8, eight, y'all. Oh, my god! That's crazy. That's amazing. It's awesome. But it is just the beginning. It is. But we thank you guys for being with us. Yeah, absolutely, we do. We and, really do. of course, we like to start off every episode with the proclamation so i'm tired of reading it because i've been reading it and i've been reading it wrong <laughs> um so i want it to come from the heart all right let it rip all right <laughs> we are one but it is fair for us to think as two individuals because okay. that's how we came in this room through transparency mm-hmm we will learn to love deeper, mm-hmm. to grow and go. There's something in the middle of that. To love deeper, to um, I to learn, to love deeper, and to grow and go. Learn, comma, love deeper, comma, and to grow and go. That's not it. I don't know. You that was your favorite part. I know. My part is grow and go. I just added that extra spit. <laughs> okay. We will be transparent to learn more. To learn more. To, to love, love deeper, deeper and, and to, to grow, grow and go. go. Um right. we going to get it. I'm going to I'm going to study. You got to send it to me so I can study yeah. it. I don't know it and I don't got it. Because before our proclamation was talking about, you know, leaving it downstairs in the studio. And we never do. And we never do. (laughs) Um, And not to mention, I think that's fake. I feel like when we talk about stuff on the podcast, it might strike something in our our heart, you know, in our feelings to to discuss more. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that the podcast should be the only place that we communicate. No, that's true. So I don't want to, you know, keep it here. Limit, like if limit we limit it to just down yeah. here. I mean, I do feel a little bit safer when y'all watching because Oh, but she I have back. the edit control. <laughs> I do hold back a little bit when we are, you know, recording. However, it's the same. It is the same. It's consistent. It's definitely the same. It's just I'm a little more cutthroat. We'll be in the privacy of our own home because, you know. She ain't trying to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't canceling me. <laughs> I'm not. That ain't, that ain't a worry. That ain't a worry. So what are we talking about today? We got quite a few things on the list for today. Um, First, I want to know if you guys, and I seen a, a couple of viewers. For our song association last week. (laughs) That was really fun. I didn't even get a chance to go and see um, any other feedback. He don't watch the show? I didn't have a chance this week (laughs) to go and watch. Um, But it was really fun to like just, you know, sing a little bit. It was fun. I drive, Um, I drive, I want to do it again. I do too. I don't really, I don't really sing much like comfortably in the open for the people to see unless I'm singing behind somebody. But stick with her because she's going places even if she don't want to. But in this next level of my life, God is stretching me. He is. In every area and he is getting me out of my comfort zone. So, you know, wherever he may take me. You heard that, Robbie. Hey, bro. (laughs) Yes. 
wherever he may take me. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Because his eyes see further past what I can see. Anywho. Um, but so what we got, what we What's put up. Song lyric? His eyes see further past what I can see. No, but you could take it right I away. am. That's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Don't even try to take it. Matter of fact, we're going to. His eyes right see further. His mind thinks deeper. His ways are Come on here. <laughs> All right, writing. Come on. Writing on a spot. That's dope. I'm really about to mess with that. Look at Pastor's word coming to fruition real quick. <laughs> okay, anyway. Anyway. Um, so last week we had technical difficulties. We recorded the entire episode twice. And we <laughs> recorded it twice, but the first time we recorded the entire episode, then did the playback, and there was no sound. Um, we discovered what the issue was just now, um, because I don't even know. Let me just point out, it had nothing to do with the Mac. I don't even know. Because <laughs> you came at my Mac. I did, because Ooh. you got a bro, and I don't. Um, I don't even know, like, how this little mishap happened because it didn't happen before. But nonetheless, it was God. God pushed the button because, <laughs> um, the last episode, we was talking a bit much. And, you know, it wasn't all for everybody's ears yet. So, I had put on here about you know speaking too soon and speaking too much and a lot of people mm-hmm. do that like people will go on facebook and make these statuses super quick and tell the whole roadmap tell the whole roadmap and give people ammo on what to pray against yeah and i've learned i have learned only because so court and i um before the babies we had got pregnant and we like we talked about it super fast Mm -hmm. like we put it out there um and then i lost the baby Mm -hmm. and that was like an eye-opener for me because when cordy came along i was like we gonna wait is he there he good he stuck all right because i didn't want to go through that you know fear again because i remember Like, we had gotten so many likes, so many congratulations, so much, and then kind of, like, had to give it back, or, you know, you get what I'm saying. I get what you're saying, yeah. So, with that being said, like, even with plans that you're making, you know, like, I've learned to be be like, I'm a week. You know, I was working on my graphic LLC. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Mm mm-mm. Ain't about to talk about it. Way to the stamp is on that certificate. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, you uh, and I think that's what happened last week. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, people will act like they're celebrating you in your face. Mm. And then come to find out they're in their secret places plotting against you, hoping yeah. and praying for your demise because they don't want to see you go further than what they are able to allow you to go. Right. Um, you know, and, and we talked about this, like, when we maybe when we first started the podcast, about how people will only like to see you go as far. They don't as, want you to go further. Or they, than or they don't want you to go further than, mm-hmm. than they are. And they'll be happy for you as long as they were a part of you moving forward right. and, and elevating. Right. Um, but as they come, can get the glory. Absolutely. And, and, and I've come to find that, you know, even when it comes to our own plans and, you know, the things that we've been promised by even God, mm-hmm. that, you know, we can talk about stuff and expose stuff out of season right. and it gives up for one that gives people an, ammo to be able to come against it but it also doesn't allow for god to be the one to exalt you in right due time. right um so i mean definitely i i agree um, i was ready to chomp it was it was too soon <laughs> it was too soon <laughs> ready to i was like okay god mm-hmm. you did that technical difficulties yeah he was like yeah nah cut just, that out just go and sing and then we ended up talking about kirk <laughs> Kirk Franklin and mm-hmm. that whole seriousness. So, 
it's two it's two topics that I want to talk about next, but I want to flip flop them. So I was in the car the other day, mm-hmm. and you know I like to flip through my serious XM. I like to go through because um, I like old school R and B or old school hip hop. I was about to say what you consider old school. Not when your you say old, old school. school. I like nineties. Like yeah, nineties. Oh, that, that ain't old school. Almost two thousand. Okay, that's old school now. I mean, yeah. Anyway, it was Robin Dick. It's not old school, but yeah. whatever. It's old school for me because I don't listen to that music now. Or, like, listen to today's R&B and hip-hop. But anyway, so I was listening to it. It was Love After War. So I was listening to it. Mm-hmm. And, like, literally, like, a couple seconds. Because I don't really know the whole song. Right. So I was like, oh, okay, I know this ver- this little chorus. All right, switch. Um, But then it made me think about it, like, how do you get back to love after war? Like, what what are the steps that you take? You know what I mean? Like, you got to lay it on heavy or do you let somebody have a moment? Like, what do you do? Now, and this is a two-part, a two-part because this is the topic that was before that. Um, we went out to eat on Sunday, mm-hmm. and our war, yeah, our war was the next up. table over. Showed up in our face. Um, and First Lady prayed about that today. Did she? She prayed about I that today. It. Oh my I was gosh! Still and uh, it, I was sitting at the kitchen table just crying because my war showed up in my face, and I didn't. I didn't react the way I would have reacted like last year, but I had a little jump in my emotions. Um, but I asked the question, like, how do you get back to, or not even get back because I don't necessarily say that I want to get back to the love we had before. I I, I love it, Mm -hmm. but I want to build upon that. You know what I mean? Like I want to make it deeper. I want to make it, you know, stronger and, you know, more unbreakable. Mm-hmm. How do you get back to that? I don't really have an answer to that question. Um, I mean, if 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 I had the answer, we would be there. <laughs> but I mean, you would have the answer to what you would do. But how? You know what I mean? I mean, of course. Buying red bottoms. No, just <laughs> way. We we've been down that road already. <laughs> Listen, okay. you're still breaking them things in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, no, but um, I don't know. I guess it, it comes down to, like, for me, when I see that you're in that space of war, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, I take a step back and I'm like, okay, what can I do in that moment? Yeah. I mean, there's not really much I can do, especially being the one that kind of waged war in the first place. Mm -hmm. Um, So, I mean, I I don't know. I guess it it would be kind of taking a step back, allowing you your moment, Mm -hmm. but also at the same time making myself available. Like, if if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll, you know, without reservation, I'll, you know, make myself available to... You know, expose myself back to that place if I if we need if to. If we need to. True. And I appreciate that. You did that. You definitely did. Um, the next morning, you know, checking in on me like, I can tell you in your thoughts. Mm-hmm. I can tell you thinking heavy. Uh, how you doing? Um, but I never, I don't really. I don't think I, I ever did know. that before. You haven't. You don't. You, before you was like, uh, okay, can we get past it? <laughs> uh, this happened yesterday. What do you mean? Um, but now, like, like it's really, it's really a, a, a jump, a leap of growth because before you were not the let's talk about it, mm. let's let's hash it out, let's let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly, mm. and the ugly error, um, and the more ugly. <laughs> not mm. that we had, we we had good, great, we, phenomenal, we had some phenomenal, but, phenomenal, almost, but we've but had we some had, ugly. Yeah. It's some real ugly. <laughs> so to be able to say, you know, like what's up, like what's going on, um, I appreciate that. I really do. I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe it's just the 
the walking in it, you mm-hmm. know. Because I told you before, I hate the word try. Right. I'm like, no, don't say you're going to try to do something. That just exactly. do it. Because if you're trying to do it, that means that essentially you're, you're not trying to do it. Because you're allowing for space for you to, to not live. complete. Right, right, right. Because if you're trying to do something, if in your heart you want to do it, you're going to do it. You're going you're gonna, you're you gonna, to gonna make it happen. And I feel like if you speak try, then you already, like you said, speak that possibility of you give yourself that crutch mm-hmm. to fall back on like so i am going to walk in love because all is fair in love and mirror <laughs> mayor war <laughs> just joking but yeah all is fair in love and marriage and i think you know not staying in that war mindset then you're not always fighting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like the trauma of war. When, when soldiers come back and they got PTSD mm-hmm. and, you know, different stuff can take them back to the battlefield. Right, right. That, got, that might be kind of just where we are at this moment. we got to kind of manage it. Yeah, and I don't even think, like, for me, it's not even, because it's not in my face, like, every day. That was, it, that was an anomaly, like. That was crazy. That was an anomaly. Like, yo, like, who would ever thought? And I mean, it's weird that you'd be like, who would ever thought when we all live in the same city? I mean, yeah, but but, but Buffalo is it's not small though. It's not. Buffalo, and COVID. Buffalo, Buffalo's a pretty big city. It's I mean, in comparison to like New York City, it's small. The town. <laughs> We're not gonna do this. <laughs> like a oh, okay. But I I think I did very well. You handled it. You handled promotion. it very well in the moment. Cause I, I had my say. babies with me. Me personally, I, I, I and, and you asked me how I felt. I I mean I wasn't really bothered by it at all. But again, I didn't see them. Yeah. I didn't see them, but that's not to say that even if I did, I don't believe that I would have really been moved. Like I said, I was more concerned about you. You know, in the moment, I, I had on sneakers, and I couldn't really address it in the moment because yeah. there was, was, was so much going on at the table. Oh my lord! <laughs> there was so Thank much God going for on the distractions, table. though, because how y'all eat dinner with kids? Like, <laughs> how is it possible? We got the I was about to say the sixteen-year-old Jesus. We have the fourteen-year-old who is just like, look at this TikTok. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, man, like, blah, 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 blah. like just having, you know, random conversations about stuff that is the most important in her life. And then we have the three year old who is, I want to sit next to you, mommy. I want to sit next to you, daddy. I want apple juice. I want chocolate, I want chocolate milk. milk. <laughs> I want a color. Stop, Michaela. And then Carter, Ooh. the storm. Named Carter. The storm named Carter. <laughs> the teething storm named Carter. <laughs> and he is just an angry <laughs> teether. And like about him, he don't cry. Like he just like screams he with this scream high pitched tone. How like, high pitched growl though. It's, it's like a growl underneath there. It's bad. And I felt so bad for the people in that restaurant that yeah. was sitting near us. But then somebody else came in with a, a crying kid, and I was like, "Yes, God, yeah, we are come on, come on in, box. come on in, welcome to the party." <laughs> but yeah, mm-hmm. so they definitely were my distractions and my more my focus um, because I love my family and I love what we have and I love what we're growing and I love what God is doing in our life. Mm-hmm. So I think that as long as I continue to focus on that, mm-hmm. you're like money else. Self care. I, I did some self care on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, five hours. Five hours. <laughs> um, I think that because if I keep that in the forefront of my mind, I think that I'll be okay. Well, the fact of the matter is, what well, we're not there anymore. Yeah. We're not there, and it's unfair to ourselves to stay there or yeah. allow ourselves to you know keep getting pulled back to that place Cause, right because again we, we have seen growth we've seen development over the course of time and 
I'm not for self sabotage at all. So. I used to. I used <clears throat> to self sabotage. I don't know if it was just. I don't know what it was, but I'm not there anymore. We're not there no more. There is a couple <laughs> <laughs> that um that is there right now, and <laughs> Derek Jackson. Uh, first of all, I never heard the name until this morning. The internet should have knew that he was a bunch of baloney because he spells his last name J A X N. Ain't no Jacksons with the last name J A X N. <laughs> all right, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that was just for social media. But anywho, um, so he is like this relationship guru. Came out with a book. He got apparel out. Um, and I think the way he became a relationship guru was because, you know, social media. Mm -hmm. He started putting up a lot of different posts and, you know, videos of, like, what guys shouldn't do in relationships. And, you know. So he got the female buy-in. He got the female buy-in. <laughs> and then he bought into a few of them. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, apparently he was exposed cheating on his wife, who a lot of people said they didn't know even existed, but cheating on his wife with a number of women, a number of women. And that was like the first hump, right? Just, oh my God, this relationship guy and he cheating on his wife consistently. Um, and I've. I felt for her because, you know, you know, she's relatable, you know, whatever. However, they went on Instagram and did this video and he was holding yeah, he on. Was, he was like, yeah. <laughs> he was holding her <laughs> hand, okay? I like holding your hand. I like holding your hand too. Um, okay. Uh oh, okay. Your knuckles is too big. I hold you like this. Okay, so he was, he went on there and they mm. were having a conversation and, you know, he kind of talked to, he kind of did a little bit of what Kirk Franklin did. He kind of talked to his fans a little bit. Um, kind of said. The PR. He did the PR. The PR talk off. Um, kind of said what he should say um, in the moment. Uh, but then his wife spoke. And I don't really know. Like I didn't watch the whole video. So. She was she was very passive and very you know meek and mild in her demeanor, and um, you know talked about people said that she should leave, and um, she said that she did leave. Side note, sis, you ain't gotta address the people. I was, about, I was just about to say. Um. That's it ain't their marriage. It? it ain't it ain't nobody else's marriage but you and Derek's. Um, so you keep living your life and keep doing what you want to do. You know, if you forgave him. A lot of people on the internet don't understand forgiveness and don't understand grace and don't understand what it really truly mm -hmm. is. And then let me let me interject and add this. A lot of the people that have been responding are probably single. Single. Single and, like and, a dollar bill. And have and even if they are with somebody, they're probably not married. Probably so not they don't married. understand the framework of marriage exactly. and how it's supposed to work. And even even beyond that, mm -hmm. um, because there are people who think that marriage is just a a, a, a super relation a super a boyfriend. Super boyfriend, super, super girlfriend. girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Um Oh y'all, y'all just put both y'all name on stuff. Now y'all just tied together, so y'all just but you know that's not what it is. Mm -mm. It's definitely not that marriage calls for lots of forgiveness, lots of self reflection, self growth, um, lots of humility, mm -hmm. all of that. And excuse me, I don't think that <laughs> lots of Love. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the ugly you moments, make, it's, it's a it's a 
choice that you make daily. Every day. It's a it's a choice that you make by the hour. If I'm being real. Yeah. Cause cause I, I mean I, I could wake up in the morning and be in love and some something might happen throughout the day to you know piss me off and. He wake up in the morning, he in love, and then I get out the bed. I don't look like this when I get out the bed. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he be like, ooh. You sure, Lord? No, yeah. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, so after the video, so she went on the video, and if you guys seen it, she had a bonnet on her head, and she was in the comfort of her own home, okay? And he looked dressed, but she was chilling. <laughs> Um, and the people the memes <laughs> crucified her. I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at her, but it was oh, it was funny. Oh my gosh, the, the they people, crucified the her. The people was funny though. The people are funny, but they are not sensitive. Oh okay, no, never no, mind. It's, it's the internet. The internet is never sensitive. No, but like, so my thing is, this woman just she not just because by you know the sounds of the video. They've already addressed it. They've already, you know, dealt with it. They are already moving through it because they've been to counseling. They've, they're they they're far beyond right. what we know. Um, so she's reliving this because Derek decided to go recently live with this video. And now she's being slandered for a bonnet. She is being slandered. <laughs> Because of the way she chooses to dress. I mean, the Al Sharpton memes. It's ridiculous. I'm going to edit that but, out. But it's, I mean, can, okay. can, you, can you blame the people though? So the people are like, oh, I would cheat too if I was him because look how she dresses. I'm going to tell you right now, if you dress like that, I'm out. Well... Come on. No, you're not. Well. Well. Yeah, actually, I am. <laughs> actually, that's a valid point because if he decides to wear a dress, I'm out. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. However, that's none of our business. It ain't that's business. none. That's none of the internet's business. But being the, being the fact that they made it public forum. That's true. They had to know that there was a they had to know they were susceptible. I've been talking all day. My mouth is just going crazy. They had to know they were susceptible to that kind of treatment and yeah. that kind of a response. Yeah. I don't, I don't anything, think she... Anything that we say on here, I already know that I'm <clears throat> opening up myself to whatever. Because at any point, anything that we say on here can go viral. Yeah. And we're going to have to be accountable for what we say and put out here. I hope something go viral. So, I mean... It's the same treatment, you know. All is fair and <laughs> nah, no, but no, but for real, like the the internet for one is undefeated. Undefeated. <laughs> I mean, come on. Absolutely. It's, tro it's trolls out here waiting for something to happen. Absolutely undefeated. <laughs> and, and it'd be funny. I'd be cracking up. I'll be cracking up. Somebody said that um, she had to buy it on because she was actually upstairs packing her stuff again. And he walked in on her and saw her packing. So he was like, nah, we about to do this now. And grabbed her um, and brought her out. Well, listen. I was cracking up. Regardless, <laughs> regardless of anything, um, after all of that, a friend of mine on Facebook, and I say a friend of mine because I know her. She's from Buffalo. Whatever. Um, she put up a status talking about how she's seen so many people and beyond the guys, because guys, you know, they're guys. Yeah, I don't care. Um, but so many women sharing memes, making statuses, crucifying her for the bonnet, crucifying her for her clothes choice, um, as if she's not already going through trauma. And if you have not been through that, you don't understand her pain. You don't understand what she's going through. Um, so with that, I was like, dang, I've been laughing all day. And that's do valid. You, that's so true. Like, Do you think she always dressed like a man? Or do you think that she might have started dressing like a man after she got... <laughs> I'm editing that out. <laughs> that's not making it. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> but seriously, though, like... 
folks was like really going in on her and we don't know that story you know what it he could be gay you know what you know and i say that because a lot there so are men out there so there are men out there that's true there are men out there that will marry a more timid woman that so ain't gonna, gonna make buffed up again yes that's not gonna make no <clears throat> no a lot of noise and ain't gonna you know mm -hmm. shake it up the comfort because he want to do what he want to do right so don't put that too far past a lot of men or I'm not going to say a lot of men. Sometimes men hide behind womanizing because they don't want to be found out who they really are or be found out. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Okay. Now she said that I I ain't calling I, said I ain't I calling said. the man gay. I, I don't, didn't call I don't him gay. know the man. I didn't call him gay. I said all of these possibilities. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Listen, it could be he could he could be into guys. She could be into women, and they could just be married because they their bank account look nice. Mm -hmm. Because they got a night. They might be best friends. Like people don't know that story. The internet get on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's angry. <laughs> I tell <Wow>. you, people. <laughs> People really, really just, you know, they don't be knowing. But in, in a, <laughs> it is what it is, okay? They living their life. Living their then life, yeah. somebody else was like, oh, he done, uh, he done messed up. He done messed up his business now. He better take the money he made and go into something else. That's what y'all focused on? That's what he should be focused on. But no, he should not be. Well, he should be focused on restoring his marriage. Well, I think, but but like you said, they've already been on that track. They've already been on that track. That's true. That's very so, true. So yeah, he, that's why. That's the whole reason why he out here making a statement in the first place because he's worried about his business. That's true. That's the only reason why because because they don't owe us no explanation. They don't. Like I said, I didn't even know who the man was until you was watching the the video this morning. Yeah, like I never really like dove into him like i didn't follow him on nothing um but i people will always share his videos and i will see him on my timeline and i think i might have listened once or twice all of his videos are in the car he was with on, a car seat in the back he was on his way i hope that's what i was thinking but if they have babies involved that's totally different it's, yeah it, it complicates things that because complicates i mean fact things. of the matter is could have been us very easily and had mm, no not even gonna say that <laughs> nice segue crazy theories of cheating <laughs> i was like <clears throat> where you get them socks from yeah and he oh. was like i just bought them yesterday you don't remember i was like oh okay. well, i just bought them earlier that morning oh i was and like i went to the store oh i was like oh okay because <laughs> You out here with new underwear, secret underwear. That's cheating. <laughs> so I was, uh, I was just joking. But I don't know if you guys ever like heard that. Like there are crazy theories out here. That's that's to, that's the all female stuff. Guys don't got nothing like that. I don't I, I me personally, I don't feel like we got like, like that. you buying secret underwear. That's for like an affair. Your phone is face down on the on the nightstand. That's because you don't want nobody texting you. Um. Yeah, you never heard that before. Like if your phone is face down all the time. I mean, uh, I'm cheating. Yeah, you never knew that. You never heard that before. No. Yeah, cause it's like if somebody texts. And it pop. This was before you know you had the option to turn the banners off and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But like, if you put your phone down when somebody messages you, you can pick it up and look at it and then maybe dismiss it. But if it's up, notifications will pop up and somebody can see it. You never heard that before. Or like the baby boy joint. Let me smell you. If you smell like soap, that means you just washed. I can't be fresh though. Why are you fresh? Why not? 
Why ain't you? <laughs> That's a better question. <laughs> Why aren't you? I can't believe I just said that. Why are you fresh? Why you ain't sweaty? <laughs> but yeah, that was like the baby boy drink. I remember that. But I it's mean, stupid it's, a though. Of, it's a lot of great. You don't have none? No. You never heard of none. Now that I can think of, like you, like you be having like crazy stuff, like never buy a man a watch because you gonna watch him walk out your life. I I don't believe that, but <laughs> don't buy don't buy him a pair of shoes. They are gonna be the same shoes that you gonna watch him walk out your life. All these bitter single ladies. It's, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> bitter old single biddies. Bitter biddies. <laughs> <laughs> they they did that. <sighs> Whatever. I I was just saying. So yeah, I, I don't I don't got none though. None, none that I can think of anyway. I don't know. I I guess like they're just dumb and if you look for those, you might actually miss what really smacky you in your face. Like Al Sharpton suits. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That wasn't nice. We don't know the story behind the pictures pictures have a thousand words no nah, but she was in like, a million comments no nah, but she was like it's too many of them it was <clears throat> it was <laughs> it's too many of them. it definitely was more than one like like why i can exactly? see if it was like it, in in a if i remember correctly it wasn't in october so it wasn't a halloween dress up. i was about to say maybe she's like an actress or something Mm-mm. wait speaking of actress the meme with the ugly Carrie Washington face. You know. <laughs> the internet is so disrespectful. <laughs> but like I said. But they've been dragging her for years. And I guess. I guess only reason why I say that is because she's like a normal human. She's not a celebrity that. Celebrities. Well you know. Is actually. Very ignorant for us to think that celebrities have thicker skin because they are celebrities. Because I'm sure that they see a lot of the slander and they the do, bullying, and it affects them the same way it affects us. Of course, regardless of how much money is in a bank account, they still human. Absolutely. I'm, and I'm not saying that they're not gonna feel in a type of way, but I'm just saying they have to be aware that it's coming. And people can't do without social media, so. If you can't get off social media, you got something coming to you. Yeah. Maybe one day. Like I possibly. said, I'm, I'm just waiting for it to come our way eventually. The devil is a liar. Listen, we, we talk raw on here. We talk raw on here. And, and I'm not going to change face. Like my, my beliefs are my beliefs. And that's always the, that's the wonderful thing about podcasting. You can say whatever you want. And I can share whatever my opinion is. If y'all is. got a problem with us, go to the government because they just taking censorship away. Fact of the matter is, if you agree with what I'm saying, that's more reason for you to subscribe. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, that's more of a reason for you to subscribe. Because you can all share it, <laughs> share it, and be like, "Oh my gosh, y'all see these people? Look mm-hmm. at this video." Go ahead, share it. Go ahead, tag all your friends. Uh huh. Dog us, mm-hmm. but share it. Yep. Subscribe and be like, "Let's see what the the stupidness they got to say next week." Exactly. I want all that. Do that. Leave your comments. I want all that. Leave all. I'm gonna your tell you right now. I'm not gonna be hurt by it. I'm gonna laugh at. It. I'm gonna probably laugh right along with you. I'm gonna laugh. I'm with stupid you. like that. I'm gonna laugh with you, and I'm gonna say thank you after every single comment because the more that you comment, the more our following. We gonna grow up. and go. Grow and go. And then while you're hating, just stick with us because we're going places. We're still going places. But that ain't the end of the show. Nope. So I was guilty of this, and I discovered it today. Um. Yesterday, we were driving down the street, and was it yesterday? It might have been yesterday. I don't know. Sure we were driving down the street, and I seen a black guy and a white guy walking oh, down the street. Oh, yeah. And the yesterday. black dude, I mean, the white dude looked real Eminem-ish. You yeah, know what I mean? Um, And I was like, look at him, old Eminem self. Mm-hmm. And then today, um, little boy. No, not the little boy. What are you talking about? Outside? It wasn't a little boy. Oh, I thought it, I thought it was a little boy. Um, oh, no, we, it was a dude driving. We live right? in a predominantly white neighborhood. And um, it was this banging, like, I think it was a Cadillac or a Buick. 
had light tints on it and the music was beating like they was driving down the street and i'm thinking you know our kind was a coming. brother and i was like okay why do and then i thought about it instantly thought about it i was like wait a minute i wasn't right because i, I say that because we are often criticized when and i was growing up i, I grew up in the hood okay but i went to city honors and i spoke properly i held my ears a little harder um i didn't i just i just talked how i talked okay i spoke how i spoke and i always was called low white girl always and being transparent i hung out with gangbangers and drug dealers and they called me the little white girl i was a little white girl and it wasn't like i mean like they weren't like dogging me but that's what my nickname was and then i think about how you know black people are often criticized when we like a lot of pop music or you know when we move to predominantly white neighborhoods or you know we decide that we want to put our kids in suburban schools mm -hmm. um we trying to act white and then we get offended but we always we have i've seen on i'm gonna say we i've seen on social media and i've heard a lot how we get upset when um white people appropriate our culture mm -hmm. um but are we appropriating theirs because they say and i only say that and i'm not saying that it's their culture to be proper or it's their culture to live in the suburbs i'm not saying that what i'm saying is we identify it as that yeah we identify it as you're being white because you talk mm -hmm. the right way um or you're being white because you want better education mm -hmm. or what does it mean to even talk black yo what's good my You weren't even comfortable saying that. I wasn't good. I wasn't. I wasn't okay. Um, I, I mean, like, we've seen the movies. And when I went to high school, when I was when I was in high school, um, there was a boy that always tried to talk black. Um, he wasn't even white. He was Filipino. Um, and he will always be like, yo, for shizzy, my nizzy. And, oh, come on. And I'm like, but <laughs> sir, we don't even talk like that. Like, walking down the hall, we're not saying, yo, what's up, my nizzy. What? Who says that? Who says that? Like, I don't understand. That's annoying. It's so annoying. <laughs> That's annoying. But my question is, so when will it stop? Because if... We don't want somebody to tell us that we're trying to act white because we're being proper or yeah. we're moving to the suburbs or we're, you know, putting our children in suburban schools or whatever. Are we going to tell white people that they're, are we going to stop telling white people that they're trying to be black? I feel like it's life. It's not. It's, I mean, do what you got to do. Just don't be mad if you get punched in the face. <laughs> I mean like <laughs> That's it I mean What I will say Live your life What I will say is Hip hop culture Listen to your music mm -hmm. If you like our clothes Wear them If you wanna Wear baggy clothes I mean I don't wear baggy clothes Everybody be like Don't wear baggy clothes But I'm saying like If that's what you wanna do As a person that is not black Do that but don't let that N-word come out your mouth. Because somebody probably will haul off. Yeah. Somebody will haul off. It'll happen. Um, that's I think that there, that's where the line is. But, like, I feel, I mean, don't do what Rachel did either. Don't go spraying your face brown. You know. Don't get braids and tell all the people that you're black. If you're not, it's okay. Be who you are. Like what you like, love what you love. Mm -hmm. 
but I just really had to check myself. I like, got some, I got some white friends that I love by culture, but they don't come off disrespect it. They don't even come off as trying to be black at all. Like, right. my, like, like Nate. Mm-hmm. Nate is one of the coolest white guys I know. Probably know more hip hop than I do. If I'm being real and right. I'm being honest, and 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 he's he's an advocate for African American culture and black culture. One of the whitest guys you know. Not not even not right. even trying to be funny at all, but like he's you know. SpongeBob. Have, it, yeah. <laughs> Real boxy, you know. Yeah. You know, you have, have a conversation with him at work. You, you, you would think he probably went to an Ivy League college. Mm-hmm. You know that that kind of, that kind of background. But one of the coolest cats I know. Um, and then there's another individual who shall remain nameless, <laughs> who's like the complete opposite. Another another Caucasian gentleman, but walking around doing almost what you just explained. And it's like, all right. But, like, why? Why is it... Why is what? Why is it not acceptable? Has he said the N-word? Yeah, he's... I mean, oh, he's, okay, he's, that's different. That's a little different. No, but, but, but normally, the times that I've heard him do it, he was rapping. Uh, like, like doing, I know what you're talking know, about. Quoting, quoting lyrics and such. Is that okay? I'm... <clears throat> Me personally, just because I I know the individual and I'm close to him, I wasn't by that. Mm. Me personally, we gonna have a talk when we get out. No, I'm just playing. But it ain't gonna be no random feeling comfortable to come up to me and and call me or or, or, or even say what's up, nigga. And that's the thing. Nah. So like, Ba-bong. like for me, chuck him up. I don't know. I think I think that as a culture, as a human race. We put too much. We give words a lot of power because they do have power. They do. Um, but we give the wrong stuff power. The same way in church, we'll go a prophet or a prophet um, <laughs> can speak over our lives. And if you don't want it, what you say? I don't receive it. Why you got it? Why you can't do that with everything else? You know what I mean? Like. We had this conversation about Michaela, which apparently today on Instagram, uh-huh. she came to see the light. Mm-hmm. The B word. Um, her friend shared like a collage of her friends and was like, these are the baddest bees I know. And Court and Michaela's father, Mark, were like, no, that is not okay. You don't need no friends that's going to call you a bee. And I'm mm-hmm. like, dude, chill. Like, Everybody do it in high school. Because for me, I called all my friends bees and they called up. Like we was just we was just crazy in high school. Um but I also made the argument that we give that stuff too much power. Um and I talked to me and Cora had this conversation a long time ago about what if we took away the power of curse words like what if you know and there's a lot of families that do that like a lot of them hippie families they are like you know my kids can say whatever they want to say because it's just a word it's just part of english language and like for me i i like that but if my son walk around cussing i'm gonna smack him in his mouth i mean i think it's the same thing of like how I dislike Montessori schools because they like there's just a, a so respect freedom. yeah that's not it's, it's it's just like null and void at that no, point. No, I understand. And so it's like you're not about to walk around calling me by my first name, and you and you five and six and seven years old. No, but mm-hmm. you know, in like summer camp they do that. You know what I mean? Like, mm, not, not like if you work in like a summer camp, they be like. Mr. Courtney. I mean, Miss yeah. Derica. I guess you're right. So I think, like, in school, I feel like, for me, I liked the Montessori learning um, style because. But they didn't do Mr. The and Mrs., kid. though. Yeah, they did. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Um, like, I they thought, met the kid. I thought they were just Mr. Or, 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 I thought it was just like, you know. Yo, what up, Courtney? Erica. Uh, Jessica. 
Nah, it was Miss Erica, Miss oh, Jessica. Okay. Um, That's not too bad then. Okay, I digress. <laughs> but it's no, it's so I feel like society just puts a lot of emphasis on stuff that doesn't always matter. Um, I don't know. But First Lady also talked about that on the prayer line. She talked about how church folk and church folk be like, um, it don't take all of that. Or you ain't got to be so deep. Or, um, you know, that type of stuff. Because they want to blend in. So, I guess I digress too. I guess if you draw the line in the sand, keep it there. So, with black culture, if we say don't say the N-word, don't say the N-word. Period. But we talked about that. You know what? (laughs) We'll be here all night. It's just, I feel that we give a lot of power to the things that don't really deserve power. Um, But to each his own. To each his own. And I know that, you know, going forward, I think I'll, like, like, the, like the orange girl. Mm-hmm. I feel like, hey, you want to You want to be spray out here like Trump? Go ahead and be a You want to get box sprays? Live your life. Because it's okay for black girls to get blonde wigs because I got one upstairs in the closet. Mm-hmm. And grew not a hair blind out your body. All my hair on my body is blind. I got gold hair all over my body. Hmm. It's not blind. Oh, you're right. It's gold because I'm a queen. Ow. But black girls want to get long, straight, blonde wigs. But if white girls get box braids, they trying to be black. Right. We got to like, we got to pick a side and stick with it. We can't be going back and forth. Exactly. We are like, and, they, and people used to say that all the time. Not even white people. Black people would say, you know, woke folk. They would dog us for getting relaxers. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so I feel like as a people, we should probably let that battle go. (laughs) Let that, that, that culture appropriation, I think we should let that go. Um, Focus more on our lives. Because whether or not the white girl down the street has box braids or not, um, I still have to pray a little extra harder for my husband and my sons as they leave the house. For my daughter as she leaves the house, I feel like that probably should be a little more of the focus Mm -hmm. Um, than you can't listen to Kendrick Lamar. Eh, you know, that's just my thought. I agree. I talked a lot today. You did. You got something to say? Nah, my, I, I told you my voice is tired. It's already, you hear it. It's chopping out on me. Yeah, well. You got anything else you wanted to talk about? I don't. We went through it all. We did really, really okay. good. And we just under an hour. Just under an hour. Mm-hmm. And Make good time. It'd be a little shorter because there's some stuff that need to be edited out. But, we thank you guys for watching. Yes. Continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hate if you want to. Yep, all that. Just make sure that you share it. And go ahead and subscribe to Gaming with K. <laughs> Have a great night. And stick with us. We're going places. Peace. With, places. with the kids. And he sleeps. <laughs> Say bye. Bye.